the tales of our pal Piggly. Ireland is the world he loves so well. He wriggles out of spots and are downright sickly. How he does that, only he can tell. Piggly, Bernie, Molly, and Dan and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara or Ralu, lots of excitement for everyone. Curiosity's in a hurry, leaving no time to stop and think. The line between wild and crazy gets blurry. Gangers! The adventures of Piggly Winks. Something in the way his eyes start blazing tells us he's on to a brand new plan. His lips curl up, it's downright amazing. Looking for mischief, well, he's your man. Piggly, Fernie, Molly, and Dan, and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara, Aralu, lots of excitement for everyone. Go to bed just to wake up early To get in trouble or on the brink The line between wild and crazy gets blurry Jiggers. The adventures of Piggly Wings Don't think it. Akers, what's this now? Am I under attack by some horrible monsters? <laughs> it's just me, Grandpa. Sean, who's this then? Shepherds. <laughs> oh, that's quite a scare you two gave me there. Oh, you're sure going to scare everyone at school tonight? We're not going to the school's Halloween party. We're going to the Midnight Monster Spooktacular. It's got the creepiest, scariest haunted house in the whole world. Yes, I know that. But I also know you're too young for that place. But, but, but Grandpa, last year Carol Teitelbaum went. And she got so scared, she missed a whole week of school. You still shouldn't go. But, but Grandpa... I know it doesn't seem quite right. You see commercials for movies and rides at amusement parks, and they look like the best fun, don't they? But then you're told you're too young and that you can't go. Yeah, it's not fair. Why can't we see everything and do everything we want to? Well, now, that's a good question. In fact, I wonder that very same thing when I was your age. Then I did something I wasn't supposed to. And oh, did I pay an awful price for it. It all started innocently enough late one night. My sister Molly was already asleep, and it was getting close to my bedtime, though I'd never admit that. A five-letter word meaning elf. Gnome. Bedtime, Piggly. Oh, it can't be. You're right. It's two minutes past. But I'm not tired. <sighs> I'm just exercising. Bed. Me. But. So good out a lot of that. Uh, good night. Good night, Bed. Good night. It's about time for our show. Stay tuned for Creepy Theatre. Tonight's episode, The Cabbage Creatures from Planet C. Jakers! Cabbage Creatures! Piggly! Piggly, you're supposed to be in bed. But I love scary shows. Scary Monster Theatre is me favourite. Scary Monster Theatre is for children. Creepy Theatre is for grown-ups. That's why it's on after your bedtime. Oh. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a glass of milk. I can't sleep on an empty stomach, you know. All right, son. Don't be dilly-dallying. Dad, aren't you always telling me not to drink too fast? 
Now he remembers. And now, put the kiddies to bed and hug someone tight. It's time for Creepy Theater. Shakers. Hurry up, Piggly. Bed. Tonight's Creepy Theater presentation, The Cabbage Creatures from Planet Z, uh, will be performed I forgot to brush my teeth. You can't be too careful about your teeth, you know. Go to your Kinder, Cluck Cornish, Buttercup McFlapper, and Hank Guzik. Our story begins on a moonless night in a small village. Are you brushing your teeth or are you listening? I'm brushing! The kind of little village where nothing happens. Or rather, the villagers think nothing happens. But it is in just such a village that our story does happen. <laughs> Good night, little man. Night, Mammy. Quiet night, Professor. Indeed. Maybe a little too quiet. Piggly, are you under your covers? Mm, uh, yes, ma'am. I'm under me covers. <laughs> it is a beautiful night. Beautiful, but still too quiet. What's that? In the cabbage field! It's alive! Cabbage! Alive! The next thing I knew, I was in for the lesson of my life. Huh? Cabbage get under me pillow. Mm, Dad. Okay, Dad. Very funny. Ma'am, why are you dusting um, a cabbage? A clean cabbage is a happy cabbage. Huh? <laughs> ah, sure it is. Well, that's a good one, ma'am. Morning, Piggly. Uh, morning, Wiley. Great radio show last night. Gave me goosebumps on my goosebumps. Oh, it was brilliant. Wiley, you can talk. I've always talked. You just never heard me before. Really? Oh, yeah. At first I thought you were being rude, and then I realized you don't speak sheep. Oh, um, sorry about that. But how can I understand you now? Simple. You're having a dream. This is a dream? Mm -hmm. If this is a dream, then... Up, up, into the sky! 
Oh. Hey, how come I can't fly? Maybe you can't fly, but the Ralu rocket can. Come on! Oh, can I drive? In your dreams, Fernie. Piggly, there's the cabbage in the rocket. Oh, yeah, there's cabbages in the stream. Studying, Dan, and I'm having a dream. With cabbages. <laughs> Why do you have cabbages in your dream, Piggly? Probably because I listened to the creepy theatre radio show just before I fell asleep. <laughs> what? You were listening to creepy theatre? Didn't your parents tell you that's a grown up show? I figure I'm grown up enough, Dan. And... Oh, you think so? Well, I won't be any part of a dream that comes from disobeying your parents. Okay, Dannon, but you're going to miss out on all the fun. Fun? Ha! Mark my words, Piggly. No good will come of this rule break and stuff. Uh, Piggly, do you think something's going to happen because you listened to the radio show when you shouldn't have? Something did happen, Fernie. We're in a dream. And I'll bet now we can find some space aliens, like we always pretend to. But this time, it's the real thing. <gasps> like little green men with space antennas. Or even blue ones, if you like. Oh. Any sign of space aliens, Cadet Fernie? None yet, Commander Bigley. Mr. McAndry. Hello, 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 hello. Oh. Uh, have you seen any space aliens today? No, 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 no. Too, too. Much too busy, much too busy. That sort of thing. Oh, too bad. Well, I guess everything is normal here. Uh, Piggly? Busy, 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 busy. I've got lots of cabbages, so I love you know. I don't think there's any space fellas here, Piggly. <sighs> Just cabbages. Hmm, you're right, Fernie. Let's go. Cabbages! I've got cabbages! Get your cabbages today! Okay, this is getting kind of weird. This is your dream, so stop dreaming about cabbages right now. Uh, I can't help it, Fernie. The dream is doing it all by itself. Make an effort. Okay. <gasps> Good afternoon, Piggly. Good afternoon, Fernando. Good afternoon, Miss Nanny. How would you boys like to have some free sweets? Sweets? Oh, thank you, Miss Nanny. Piggly, you should have been dreaming about this from the start. Oh, how about something extra special? I have just the thing in my shop. Wait here. Oh, I'd rather have sweets and fly in a wagon any old day of the week. 
You can have sweets anytime, Fanny. Right, but I'd still rather have them. Here you go. Have some nice chocolate covered cabbage. Cabbage? If you don't like chocolate, how about a peppermint cabbage? <gasps> Or perhaps butterscotch cabbage, a cotton cabbage, a cabbage toffee, a cabbage cake, a lolly cabbage pops, tortie frotti cabbage, a cabbage sickies! Jacob. <sighs> They say, Bernie, you are what you eat. So I'm thinking maybe you should lay off cabbages for a little while. In fact, the whole flock should lay off cabbages. Except for you, Ethel. You should cut down on the carrots. Oh, Fernie, why did I listen to that creepy cabbage show? All the board! Come on, everyone, get on the train, Cut very well start the train, don't get on it! Cabbage. 
Cabbages. Cabbages? Oh, I had the strangest dream. Oh, there, there, now. You wouldn't have been listening to creepy theatre now, would you? Or do you always sleep here in the doorway? Well, uh, I might have heard uh, just a little tiny bit of it. Ah, that wild imagination of yours. That's one of the reasons we knew you were too young to listen to the show. Oh, Piggly, we didn't say no to be mean to you. The reason we make rules like that is for your own good. You were right. I never want to have a dream like that ever again. Well then, I suggest you get up off the floor and get into your own proper bed. Yes, ma'am. And I promise I'll never listen to a grown-up radio show ever again. Unless you say I can. That's good to hear, son. Good night. Good night, Piggly dear. Dad, um, do you think it would be okay if we left the light on? Uh, just for tonight. I'll leave the door open, too. After a while, I fell back asleep, but I never forgot that dream. So, you see, boys? Boys? If we go to that grown-up's haunted house, will we have dreams like that? I don't know, but it just goes to show that there are reasons why some things for grown-ups aren't always good for children. Ah, uh, you know, the Halloween party at school is lots of fun. All our friends will be there, and they haven't even seen our cool costumes. <laughs> Let's go! We'll really scare them! Yeah! I'm so glad they made the right decision. In fact, I think I'll go with them. Oh, I just hope there are no cabbages. <laughs> <laughs>